Hey guys, wanted to bring you another YouTube video on my thoughts and reactions of um, the presidential debate. Obviously, you don't have all parties there, um, but wanted to give you some of my thoughts as um, probably most Americans thought, same thoughts. So, watch the whole debate. Um, obviously, you could see it was more of CNN and Biden's terms. Trump knew the terms. Um, no audience. So that definitely helped Biden because early on you could see the beginning of the debate. Uh, Biden was not very sharp. Uh, any concerns that the Republicans had of him being on drugs or using any performance enhancement uh, was out of the window, I would say definitely in the first 10 minutes. You can see uh, the, the White House said that um, Biden had a coal. So I don't know if that was the reason why his voice, but I think this is the I mean, last four years. I think that's the longest he's probably talked it was 90 minutes for a debate. Obviously, you have um, breaks in between to gather your thoughts. Um, and so a lot of people probably have the same thoughts. It was not his best, um, probably the worst performance I've ever seen for any president or um, presidential candidate. But definitely a president it was not very uh, presidential material right there. Uh, I know one of the media pollsters from watching, it's about two hours after the debate ended, one of them said, well, it's normal, everyday people like me, so, uh, I mean, I'm not a professional speaker or anything like that, but I mean, I agree what she's saying, this one lady commented in this focus group in, with CNN, said that well, not everyone um, speaks very well or articulates very well. Um, so you could stutter. You may not be as sharp. Um, but yeah, I understand that. But you're holding the hardest and um, most important job, I would say, for this country, a president of the United States. And so all eyes are on you. So your standard to me compared to me as an average American. You're, you're, you're supposed to be well-trained, very educated, very sharp, and stuff like that. And if you're not able to be able to articulate cognitively there, I don't know if you could handle this job for the next four years. I mean, by the time Obama, there, there was any president that holds two terms, age pretty well like they've aged pretty well but bad uh you could see obama bush jr like they've aged quite significantly you could always look it up um so i don't see how biden would at age 86 by the time if he is able to make it through would be able to hold that and that was one of the important questions so i think that is a definite concern i think um Democrats were definitely concerned on his performance. I think Biden definitely needed to hit a home run to show that he could do the job for the next four years. Um, it was very interesting just to try and flip between to see what reactions were, but they had Kamala Harris on CNN, ABC. And so I'm, I'm assuming she was trying to play damage control. Um, so pretty much this debate, I wouldn't say answer anything. It just kind of confirm everything what most Americans thought. That can Biden really do this job for the next four years? Can he last? Can um, can the vice president, if anything happened to Biden, Kamala Harris handle it? And her numbers are kind of low too for her approval rating. And then same thing, I mean, with Trump, he definitely has more energy at 78 compared to um, Biden. 
definitely a big difference there. Um, Trump is sharp, but after the four years of absence, what his knock was, he's not very, um, he doesn't act like a president. He's like a lot of the questions that they asked him, I would say maybe, I can't remember, but maybe close to half or half. Um, some of the questions that he didn't want to answer, he would dodge by praising him on what he did and how bad Biden did. It's one of the few times you're going to have a case study of a former president and a current president where you could see how the two did handling uh, and running the country. So, pretty much, we want to know how you're going to fix or what you learn from your current or past term. So, Trump could have, uh, I mean, Biden was digging himself a grave um, based on him trying to keep up, I felt like. Um, I think one of the biggest winners would be RFK, to be honest, a third party. Um, looking at the early polls from CNN um, and ABC, which is more ten, everybody knows, is ten towards the left, was kind of showing that it, it, it doesn't look good for Biden. But again, some of them didn't like the numbers. The way they showed it was like what most Americans are thinking, like these are the two best candidates we have for this country. And that, that's what it is. Like they, it's going to be like 2020 again. Like they don't really want to vote for either candidate, but there's not a good third party. Um, again, I've voted before all three parties before. Um, and so, yeah. Um, but, it definitely confirms everything I've thought of all candidates. Like I said, RFK is probably the biggest benefit from all this because if you don't like either uh, Republican or Democrat uh, nominee, you got third party with RFK. Um, but there's some other third parties that are probably not going to do as much damage or get as many votes like RFK. Um, what's some other thoughts I would say? It's, it's going to be very interesting to see the poll numbers after the dust settles next couple days. Um, I, I, I feel like the initial thought, if you had to vote today, I feel like Trump would be the winner today, um, as a nominee. So I guess we'll go ahead and see. Um, let me know in your comments, thoughts. Do you agree with me? Do you think that maybe the third party did better uh, because neither party did themselves a favor? Like I said, Trump didn't really answer the que some of the questions. Um, like we would have wanted to know what you're going to do on your second term if you are in. And, and that's the other thing. Like you could have said, yeah, I, I will accept whatever outcome for the election or something like that. You could denounce like what they wanted. So some stuff like that, you would think that's pretty simple and almost common sense to do stuff like that. I don't know why. Uh, I mean, you could definitely put out a lot of fires that way if you did stuff like that, like be more presidential that way. Uh, yeah, so will be very interesting, especially I live in a swing state. Um, in Nevada, so we'll, we'll see. Um, but looking at the early polls, like I said, for CNN and ABC that they had, they're trending towards Trump um, after this performance for Biden. But we'll, like I said, we'll see after a couple of days what the true numbers might be. And the other question is, would Biden, Biden even entertain stepping down and if he would step down, who would be the nominee? Supposedly, based on Vegas odds, uh, Michelle Obama's 
and Gavin Newsom would be the highest chance to be on the ticket if Biden stepped down. Um, Newsom living in California before would not be a good candidate. I could tell you that. You just have to look how California's ran right now. You can see a lot of former Californians left California, so I don't see why you would put Newsom in. I could see Michelle, just because you know Barack Obama there, I guess in that tight, because that's, I guess that six degree separation, just like how Joe Biden was there um, for that reason is one of the reasons why I could see maybe Michelle for that. So let me know what you think. Um, go ahead and comment. Do you agree? Disagree, which is fine. Um, like I said, I prefer um, civil debates and stuff like that. And But I can't, I, and especially I would love to hear if you really thought Joe Biden did really well on this debate. And if so, why? Because I don't see how he did well or what he did well in. Um, because even some of the things that he's, said like numbers statements and stuff like that were incorrect you could tell um not a lot of energy and then even some of the stuff that i know trump was saying wrong or didn't answer he didn't like fire back like trump was doing firing back on biden so there was not that much fire so yeah go ahead and hit that like button subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and together we could build better tomorrow thanks